Welcome back to Great Day. Well, neck and back issues can be debilitating. Traditional methods to treat the problems don't always work and can sometimes make issues worse. Our next guest says that's because those procedures oftentimes miss the mark, literally. Here to explain how to better target the cause of your problems and treat them, please welcome Dr. Pavan Grover. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we're in this kind of moment right now where a lot of people may, may remember their parents or grandparents having surgeries years ago and it, they shy away from doing it because sure. it was such a long recovery and all kinds of problems. Modern technology in medicine has arrived. It has. And it things has. are different now. Totally revolutionary. Now, you know, we're able to now go through uh, scopes and lasers and things like that to go into the different areas where you have a pain. And for example, if you have problems with arthritis or degeneration in the joint, we can actually go in and get rid of the pain fibers there. If there's compression, we can go in through a scope to relieve that, even yeah. fuse parts of the spine with because some minimally invasive procedures. In the past, it was, either, it was either those aggressive surgeries or it was medications. And when you yes. do the pain medications and things, you are not getting to the cause of the problem. Right. You're just treating a exactly. symptom, and exactly. that can be a problem. That so a problem. what do you all do that's different than, you know, because other people say, well, we take MRIs, we do this. What are you doing that's different that really gets to the cause? Well, the first step is, you know, when you get a, a, an MRI or an X-ray, what they, they tell you what the possibilities are, but they don't really tell you what the source because I've never seen an MRI that just shows one thing. You'll see problems with joints and discs and stuff. So the first step is to get to the root of the problem. And so how do we do that? What we do is we take a section under x-ray and we block it with a numbing medication, right? And so what that does in terms of it's a functional block. So we can actually map out your back with this diagnostic mapping and tell you what percent of pain is coming from the disc, what pain is coming from the joint wow. and stuff like that. Then we could figure out what the appropriate way to fix that is. Yeah, and there are a number of ways to fix it. Right. And so let's go through some of the ways that you, and, and you know, who needs surgery versus somebody who might need something uh, a, a lot less uh, than that? Well, you know, the general approach is, is you uh, get a diagnosis, establish it, you always try conservative treatment first, right. and then you kind of move up on the ladder in terms of the response. And then a lot of times, uh, once you've fixed something, then you need to get the muscles back in shape and rehab, because when you have pain, you know, your whole body goes out of whack. Yeah. You start releasing stress hormones. I mean, it's a terrible, terrible. Other muscles start to compensate, and yes. so yeah. All right. So uh, when you when you map it out and you find that source of that pain, which mm -hmm. you all are able to do most right. of the time, is treat that, and then the person is pain free. They get their life back. Right. Because what you want to do is you want to reverse the process, right? See, because we all know what acute pain is, right? If you uh, burn your hand or you put your hand near a fire, you would draw it quickly. So it's a protective mechanism. Mm -hmm. But when you get into chronic pain, right, we never could figure out how is that good for the body because you have pain down the leg, so you start to walk with an altered gait, right? Your muscles get thrown off, your back is out of, out of, out of whack. And you release stress hormones that decrease your, your immunity, your, your, you know. It's a downhill from there. It's a downhill from there, from yeah, there yeah. right? And neck and back pain oftentimes are a mystery for people right. of trying to find right. that exact location. All right. Right. So uh, anyone who's, who's going through this, mm -hmm. uh, instead of suffering and being afraid that they're not going to be able to address it as their parents may have, right. uh, you have to go to the right doctor. Right. One of the things we were talking about in the green room is you said not every doctor is trained in the same way. Right. Well, you know, but I, I uh, also believe that all doctors, you know, like working with my colleagues, I might not have the exact solution, but as a team, you know, we believe in a very multidisciplinary approach. You might be the right candidate for a certain type of procedure or for a certain type of rehab. So not one doctor I would think right. has a full answer. So you've got to work as a team to get the patient better. Yeah, yeah. But then just kind of the, the things that that you, if you were trained several years ago, right. medicine is moving fast. Moving very fast. Yeah, the whole, what we learn now about the spine and, and the brain is completely changed. You know, we, we're rewiring our spine and brain all the time. And that's really kind of a reversal of what we learned there in medical school. What do patients say to you when, you know, because by the time they get to you and get to mm -hmm. this, oftentimes they've thrown their hands up and yeah. given up. It must be gratifying to see somebody who literally says, you gave me my life back. It is. It's the most satisfying thing that, that you can do in life is to be able to, to help somebody and change their life. It's like getting good karma back. And can I say one thing? I was with you on this stage eight years ago, yeah. and you have not aged a bit. Ah. I mean, if, <laughs> I, unbelievable. If anything... You look better than eight years ago. Oh my God, I mean, better than eight years ago? Thank you. It blows my mind. Thank you, because you ain't so bad yourself, doctor. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, all right. He's my favorite doctor now in the world. But no, for more information on the minimally invasive procedures described by Dr. Grover, call 832-371-1728, 832-371-1728, or log on to innovospine.com. There it is right there on your screen. And by the way, the reason why you were here eight years ago is that you also direct and produce and act in movies. So this is a person who's the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain so I'm not, are I'm working. Not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, my joke is I'm not a real doctor. I play one on yeah, TV. Yeah, I'm not a real doctor. I play, I play one, one on, on TV. TV. No, he's a real doctor. All right. Well, what's the greatest movie of all time? Gone with the Wind, Citizen Kane, or what about It's a Wonderful Life? And who is the best actor or actress of all time? We'll see what our viewers are saying in our Facebook question of the day.